for the honor of magic. I found a focus in the Troll Canyon. Hmm, that's a start. You're doing well. There are still three focus stones missing to accomplish our plan. Now go and look out for the remaining focus stones. I see you've used up the teleportation scroll. Here, take a new one. I found a focus in the mountain fort. Good. That's the second focus stone you've brought us. We're getting closer and closer to our target. Be brave and fetch the two remaining focus stones. I found a focus in the ruined monastery. Gorn the mercenary was there. He gave me a hand in searching. Unbelievable. Now we have four focus stones altogether. There's only one more missing. Then we'll have them all. You've already done our community a great service. Get the last focus stone and we'll soon be able to free ourselves. I found a focus under the Ring of Stone. Brilliant. Now we have all five focus stones. Your deeds are invaluable to our camp. Be assured of my eternal gratitude. Go to Riordian now. He'll give you something for your immense efforts. Speak to Kronos, the Keeper of the Ore as well. He'll give you another gift from our community. Can you blast the Ore Mound now? We now have all the artifacts we need to fulfill our plan. But the barrier was created by 12 magicians. There are not enough magicians in the Circle of Water to control the powerful energies and to guide them onto the right course. What can we do? I'm aware that you've already done much for our community. We owe you greatly. But in the interest of all the inhabitants of the colony, I need to ask one more favor of you. One more favor? Yes. Go to the old camp and try to win some of the magicians of the Circle of Fire for our cause. Magicians of Fire? Why should they want to give up their easy life? The destruction of the barrier would rob them of their powerful position. That is the exact reason why you must accomplish this mission. You know people from all the camps of the colony. Remind the magicians of fire of the old times, when we studied the arts of magic together. All right then, I'll try to convince the magicians of fire. But I can't promise anything. It seems nearly impossible to me. You must try. If you do not succeed in this, there is only one other... Just one... One what? Forget it. You must succeed. Here, take this magic rune. Hand it over to Coristo, the High Magician of the Circle of Fire, as a sign of our trust. With this, he can teleport into this room without passing the guards anytime he wants. I hope that it will convince our former friends of our good intentions. May you return in one piece? Greetings. Satyrus said you had a reward for me? Ah, come here, come here. Our spiritual leader has told me about your heroic deeds. All the people in the camp, no, the whole colony, are deeply indebted to you. Take this as a modest reward for all your efforts. Show me your goods. Every time. That wasn't very clever. As long as I'm not involved. 
doubt that's ever likely to change. Hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. You're very brave about Hello. Satyrus said you had a reward for me. As the Keeper of the Ore, I'd like to give you a small portion of our ore for your great deeds on behalf of the camp. I hope you'll make as good use of it as we do. I want to acquire magic writings. There was a time when I led a very different life. I was one of the best generals of this country. I've spent my whole life fighting for my country. But the nobles didn't like me because the king listened to my advice. And they knew I posed a threat to their dirty business. I hadn't counted on their insidiousness. They used the king's wife to get me. I was blamed for her pointless murder. King Robar had no other choice. The services I had rendered my country saved me from the gallows, but they robbed me of my freedom. One day I'll be free again, then I shall return and take revenge. I shall have my revenge.
They... They are all dead, all dead! I couldn't help them, I was... was not there, I... Calm down, Milton, what happened? They killed the magicians of fire, all of them apart from me. And I was close to death as well. You'd better tell me the whole story from the beginning, one thing after the other. Okay, keep cool, Milton, keep cool. It all started with the old mine caving in. The old mine caved in? Yes. It all happened very fast. Nobody in the mine made it out. The guards blocked the entrance to the mine. I met Gorn. Really? Where? By the old ruined monastery by the sea. The two of us searched it for treasures. I'm sure he'll tell me all about it when we meet again. Lester and I took out the mountain fort. He told me about it. Apparently you can be trusted. Where have the four of you been meeting so far? Oh, here and there. We meet in a lot of different places. How could the mine cave in? I have no idea. Some of the diggers who were waiting in front of the entrance said something about a massive earthquake and a huge cloud of dust coming from the tunnel. Were you there? Yes. That's where I learned about the cave-in. What was that you said about the magicians of fire? I only know that they were killed by the ore baron shortly after the mine caved in. When I returned from our adventure under the Ring of Stone, the guards at the gate suddenly attacked me. They shouted words like, traitor and collaborator at me. I had a very narrow escape. Why would the ore barons want to kill the magicians? It doesn't make sense. That's right. The guards just didn't give me any opportunity to ask. They drew their swords immediately. Perhaps Diego knows more. He was in the camp when things got worse. You should hide, far away from here. No, Diego and I agreed to keep an eye on the two gates and to warn our unsuspecting friends from the other camps. Please talk to Diego. Where can I find Diego? He's hiding on the other side of the old camp, near the back gate. Please talk to him. See you later.